Well, mm. what are you worrying about? I just don't know which one to choose. Ah, oh, funny you say that. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Triton's two bench-mounted spindle sanders. The TSPS 450 and the TSPS T450. The TSPS 450 is a spindle sander with a cast iron top and the TSPS T450 is a spindle and belt sander combination machine which also features a tilting table. Looking at them side by side, there are lots of similarities with these two machines. Firstly, they both have a 450 watt motor which gives out 2000 RPM and 58 oscillations per minute. Both sanders come with 150 mm sanding drums in a range of sizes. You get a set of 80 grit papers in the box, but there are other grits available. Both machines have dedicated spots where you can store all of the accessories on the units themselves. Both of these machines feature holes so that they can be mounted to your worktop, and they also have a 38mm dust pot. The brothers make! We hear you yell. Enough of the similarities, what are the differences? Well, we're glad you asked. So you might be thinking that that combo machine with its dual functionality and bigger table size wins hands down, right? Not necessarily. The smaller machine features a cast iron top which is going to be rock solid. And although the table size is slightly smaller, it comes with a larger 76mm sanding drum. Though that larger combo machine doesn't come with a cast iron top, it does have the added ability to tilt so that you can sand on an angle. To do this, you just need to undo those locking knobs on either side of the machine, tilt it to your desired angle, and then tighten it back up. Now the obvious benefit to the combo machine is that as well as the spindle sander, it can be used as an oscillating belt sander. This belt sands at 480 meters per minute and it also uses the oscillating motion which helps reduce burning on your wood. Installing a sanding drum is super easy. Once you've selected your size, make sure you've got the corresponding table insert and slide both of these over the spindle. Then all you have to do is tighten up the nut which then expands the drum and grips onto the sanding sleeve. So the whole belt sander attachment comes on a handy cartridge, meaning it's really easy to swap over. Once you've removed that spindle sander and the orange throat plate, it's just a case of dropping on that belt sander cartridge and locking it in place. The last thing you have to do is attach your workpiece stop with a single wing nut and then you're good to go. So we're lucky enough to have both these machines in our workshop, which has meant we can really put them through their paces. So our verdict would be if you don't have much space in your workshop or you don't have access to an existing belt sander, then the combo machine is going to be perfect for you. Whereas if you are lucky enough to have another option for flat face sanding, then that dedicated spindle sander with a cast iron top and an extra large drum size is going to be awesome for your setup. See you in the next one.